Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Have another Common Rider build review for you today. This is the DX Trans Steam Gun. It is the kind of main weapon of Night Rogue here, the villain of the show, featured very prominently here on the right side of the box, uh, but can also be wielded by Blood Stark, who's shown over here. Uh, he has the um, Steam Blade, and those two weapons can combine. But today I'll just be taking a look at this, and then probably when I review the uh, Steam Blade, I'll show how they combine. And it does come with the Bat Full Bottle, as you can see over here on the side. So this is the front of the packaging, pretty cool artwork. On this side you have a picture of the gun. On this side you have a picture of the two of them, each wielding it. Pretty cool picture there on the bottom. And then taking a look at the back... Just kind of shows you the gun, how you can insert the bottle, and then of course the combination with the steam blade, and it does work with the uh, build driver, and then a little picture there on the top. So pretty cool. All in all, I like the packaging. Does need uh, three AAA batteries, as it shows right there. So that's it for the packaging. Let's get it out and take a closer look. So here is the Trans Steam Gun and Bat Full Bottle. I guess I'll put this down for a second and we'll take a look at the bottle first. I really like the silver detailing. I think that was a really nice addition because it really draws out the detail. The whole bottle itself is kind of a light purple translucent color as you can see. Um, but the silver accents really highlight the detail that's molded into the bottle. So I really like the look of that. The bat looks really, really cool. You can see up top here it just has a B for bat because this is not, you know, a half of a uh, best match. So this is a single bottle. But this still can turn around just like any other full bottle. And it has a QR code there and the pin system on the back. And you can see it's number 41 right there. And it shakes just like anything else. It has that plastic piece comes through the bottom. So it is a deluxe uh, full bottle. But yeah, very cool. I really like the design of this one a lot. Put that all to the side for a moment. Here is the Trans Steam Gun. Fairly small, fairly compact. Uh, has this big plastic piece on the bottom so you can like kind of load the bottle in like a clip for a gun. But overall, pretty neat design. Have some color paint up here, mostly silver. This is all paint. Uh, I don't think it's a sticker. I think it's paint. And then you can see here, obviously, this is a uh, connection port for part of the steam blade. And then here is the other connection port. Very obvious on the back. So if you come around to the back, you can see here is the on and off switch. It does take three AAA batteries. Two go in the handle here. And then a third one goes up here. So you have to put the screwdriver in this hole and take this piece out. Put one battery in there. And then two go in the handle down here. This is the release for the full bottle. When you slide it in, this is so you can release it. Here's the trigger. And the speaker is... I feel like I saw it earlier. And of course now I can't find it. Here it is. It's right here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's some here on the bottom and some here on the top. This molded piece goes over top of it. So. But yeah, this is the gun. Go ahead and turn it on. Now you can see there's an LED down here, which is really cool because that lights up the bottles when you attach it. It says its name when you first turn it on. We'll do that again. Trans steam gun. Hit the trigger. Blaster sound. Just kind of the same sound no matter how many times you hit the trigger. If you hold it down, nothing new. Holding it down does nothing. Um, that's pretty much it on its own. But it's a pretty cool sound. I mean, just a generic firing sound. I like it. If you take the bottle and you slide it in. It'll play this music until you pull the trigger. I like this music. Fire. 
So it says missed match, which I'm not sure why, but it does. It says missed match. Then it says bad, but bad, bad. I like that. Uh, and then it just says fire. And then you're going to get some like fireworks sounding sounds actually. Um, so pretty cool. I love how the LED lights up the bottle. I think that looks fantastic. I really like that a lot. If you hit the trigger again. So it says steam break, it says bat, and then it makes some more sound effects. If you hit the trigger again, you're going to get that again. So that's it for that. And then if you use the release like I showed you earlier, slides right out, no big deal. Uh, that's it for using bat in here, but I'm going to bring in some other ones just to kind of show you... Um, if you use some of build, so here's rabbit, which rabbit for some reason is very tight on mine. So if it's not bat or cobra, it just says full bottle. And then instead of steam break, you get steam attack. So release him. And then just to demonstrate my point, here's Tank. But if nothing else, it's kind of neat just to see the LED light up the bottle. I think they look good, uh, especially with all the fun different colors inside. The LED behind them looks really, really neat. So just release that. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it's not a super amount of functionality but I still like it a lot um, the bat full bottle is awesome and I love how it has the special uh, sounds with that this thing kind of reminds me of the mega loader from ghost because it would recognize like the three different icons that it needed to recognize and then any of other ghosts icons just kind of said icon or, or some generic sound and that's kind of what this reminds me of because it'll recognize bat It'll recognize Cobra and have, you know, individual sounds for those two. Anything else, it just says full bottle. So, you know, it is what it is. But I like it a lot. I think it's pretty cool. I like that it has a reader in here. That's really fun. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the gun. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and put that down. But we can check this out in the build driver. All right, so go ahead and drop Bat in. And then just because I have them handy, here's Tank. So obviously not a best match. There's no special sounds there. So you get the standard Vortec attack, which is basically what you get anytime it's not a best match. So, pretty standard. I think it's neat that this recognizes it. Um, but of course, because Bat is a single bottle and does not have a best match, you're never going to get best match sounds out of this with it. So I think this is a lot of fun. It's kind of nice because we don't usually get weapons for villains, and I kind of feel like... You know, these two guys are going to end up being even more important than we realize so far. There's kind of rumors out there so far that they might become common Riders later on in the future. We'll have to wait and see. But in any case, I think it's a fun roleplay weapon. I love the look of the bat full bottle, the color scheme, the design. I love the uh, way they painted that silver on there to really bring the details out of the bottle. Kind of wish they would do that for some of the normal full bottles just because it really makes it look sharp. And I love that it has the LED so that when you slide the bottles in it lights them up and they look really cool. I kind of wish the driver lit the bottles up as well, but it is what it is. So I recommend it. Plus it's going to have functionality with the steam blade when I get there and they can combine together and that's really awesome. It's also going to have sounds for Cobra, which we'll see when we get to the steam blade review as well. So I like it a lot. As far as the price goes, I believe it was somewhere in the area of like... 
3000 to 3500 before shipping uh depending on uh where you pick it up and who has discounts and whatnot but so it's about $30 if you want to think of it that way um but I think it's worth it it's a fun toy it's going to have a lot more compatibility as we go on and I love the full bottle that it comes with so let me know what you guys think in the comments below I want to hear from you guys let me know what you think please like and share this video please subscribe if you haven't already I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at the DX Trans Steam Gun from Kamen Rider Build. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.